If you're having trouble creating ChatGPT account, don't worry, I'm here to help. Sometimes technical glitches can occur, but we'll walk you through some troubleshooting steps to get you on the right track. Here are six tips you can try to fix account creation problem. First, check internet connection. Make sure you're connected to stable internet connection. Sometimes a weak or interrupted connection can cause issues during the account creation process. Second, browser compatibility. If you're using a web browser, ensure it's up to date. Some outdated browser might not work well. Consider using popular browser like Chrome, Firefox, Safari, or Edge. Third, clear cache and cookies. Sometimes store data in your browser cache and cookies can cause issues. Try clearing these by going to your browser settings and click on clear cache and clear cookies. Fourth, try a different device. If the issue persists, try creating the account on a different device. It could be a device compatibility issues. Fifth, use incognito or private mode. Open a new incognito or private browsing window and attempt to create the account again. This mode prevents extensions or cache data from interfering with the process. Sixth, disable ad blockers. Ad blockers might sometimes interfere with certain website functions. Temporarily disable them and see if that helps. Seven, check for typo errors. Double check that you've entered your information correctly. Sometimes a simple typo error in your email address or password can cause issues. And if you're still unable to fix it, you can contact support. If you tried everything, and are still unable to create an account, it's a good idea to reach out to ChatGPT's support team. They can provide more specific guidance and assistance. To get in touch with support, visit the official ChatGPT website and look for Contact Us or Support section. They likely have information on how you can reach out through email or contact form. Remember, technical issues can happen to anyone and there's usually a solution. By following these troubleshooting steps and reaching out to support, you're taking proactive steps to resolve the problem. In the next lesson, we're going to explore the interface. See you there.